good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is 8.45 a.m. and I'm out here a little bit earlier so I'm hoping I can be done a little bit earlier. Um, I'm feeling pretty lousy inside. Um, I just wanted to stay home and be curled up in a ball but I had to get out here. I'm trying to hit my goal for this quest or promotion or whatever it is with the Uber passenger. Yesterday I did 14 passengers so that was a lot um claremont was actually pretty busy so that was really good so i'm hoping today is going to be the same i already set my destination for claremont for like 10 15 so it does have time but i'm still in groveland so it's like another 20 minutes to even get to claremont but maybe i could pick somebody up here and drop them off somewhere i don't know yesterday i know i did one pickup in groveland um, I did drop off in Groveland. So, I mean, I come to Groveland. I did a pickup in Groveland that went to Claremont. So, it's really anywhere, which is good. But I will be back, y'all, once we do get our first passenger ride. Okay, so right now it says there's opportunity nearby. And it shows me, like, a little map of where to go. And it's, like, towards Mineola, like the Publix at Citrus Tower kind of that area so does that mean it wants me to go that way to try and pick up somebody because wouldn't they just offer it to me I guess they wouldn't because then they would have to pay me more because I'm so far out still but I've seen that like twice or three times and one time I did it and nothing happened the other times I didn't do it because nothing ever happened with it. So I don't know if I should try to go and um, pick up the people. I don't know, y'all. I'm just going to keep going straight. And then once I get into Claremont, if they send me the person, then I'll go pick them up. All right. I got my first passenger ride. They're like 7.9 miles away, which is literally off the street that I just came off of so I wish they would have requested it like five minutes earlier or ten minutes earlier that way I wouldn't have to turn all the way around um, but I'm heading to pick them up right now y'all all right you guys that one got finished and he was very talkative so that was really it was really nice it was like a actual conversation back and In forth a quarter mile proceed oh. straight to stay on East Highway 15 all right y'all um, he went to Leesburg and I'm back in Claremont. I didn't get a, a ride the whole way back. So that was kind of like, eh. Um, so I've only done one and it's 1030. I am heading to pick up my next one now. I don't know where I'm going to be going. I'm going to assume they're not going to the airport because I'm picking them up from a business. So actually let me turn off my destination because I don't want it to be like, you only have one left. Um, so we'll see what happens with this one. All right, she is dropped off already. She did not go very far at all. Oh, let me set my location again before I get out of here. Claremont, arrive by, let's do 10, I'll do, 11:45, so like an hour scheduled destination destination is set and i got four dollars for that one and that was like two miles so that's weird how it does that you know so i waited a long time in between rides for this one um but i went to target to use the bathroom and of course that's when i decide that uber well uber decides they're going to send me a passenger so I was almost done anyways, I accepted it, and now I'm trying to get there to pick up my next passenger. All right, he is dropped off. He went to Groveland, and I took my next one when I was on my way to drop him off. So I think I'm picking up in Groveland. Yes, I'm picking up from Groveland. I don't know where I'm gonna be going, so we're gonna find out after I pick them up. And his pickup actually had a pin like I was dropping off a Uber Eats order so that was my first time doing that he was like oh do you need my pin I'm like yeah <laughs> no I don't need it <laughs> um but 
once you hit start uber x when you pick up the person with the pin it actually asks you for the pin and you can't go any further until you enter that in so um, but anyways, I'm heading to pick up my next person and it's 2.2 miles to go for their pickup I don't know why you came up on me like that. Like we can't we have to stop bro um, I'm heading back towards Claremont. I just dropped off that person. They did not go very far at all Which was good. Um, so that I think makes four trips for today so far I got four dollars for that trip Four trips today, $30. It's a little bit slower than yesterday, so I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna be out later and I got out a little bit earlier. I think it was though my first trip was just like 17 miles into Leesburg and then I had to drive back this way. So I think doing that did put me a little bit behind schedule, um, but I don't know it could go good I could be like super busy the rest of the day it's about to be lunchtime I do have instacart on just in case because I don't want to be sitting for like 20 minutes with nothing so I could do some small instacarts if anything but we shall see how it goes y'all Okay, so I got by the Publix in Groveland and I have to make a U-turn because I got my next Uber passenger. I did set my destination for Claremont make a to stay um, on state Road 50 using the for like 1 or 1.30. So I'm going to, sorry y'all, I forgot to keep my blinker on. So I'm going to hope that they're not going super far, but I don't know. It don't matter. As long as I can stay busy, that would be great. I don't really care. As long as I'm not going like 30 miles into Orlando, I'm 100% okay with that. <laughs> I don't want to have to take the toll, but so far this morning, so good with that. Leesburg is no toll. It's a straight shot from where I picked the person up pretty much done and dropped off they didn't go very far I think I got four dollars for that trip for about 15 minutes so now I'm gonna just head back towards Claremont unless they give me another one for Groveland I did set my destination again for Claremont for like 1:30 or something like that and it's 12 15 right now so that gives me plenty of time to get a couple orders and then reset the destination y'all so I'm making another U-turn to go back into Groveland. I think to go back by like the same neighborhood where I just dropped off that person. It looks like it's in the back there behind the Publix area. There's so many neighborhoods back there. Um, so that's where I'm heading for the next one, y'all. My next passenger ride is up. I'm heading to pick them up now. I'm like three miles away from their pickup. I actually know the street where I'm going, so that's good I don't need the directions my phone gets really hot I think with the uber running I don't know um, I don't know what happened I was heading to drop that person off and my voice the uber voice just stopped working so I don't know what happened with that um, so I almost passed it. I'm like, oh man, I really need to get a mount to put it up. Because I've been just having it in my ear and listening to the directions. Um, but if the directions aren't speaking, I kind of need to see it. And I can't just look at my phone and hold my phone because that's not, that's not very safe, you know. So I'm going to try to get a mount today from Walmart. Um, I probably could have ordered one online for cheaper, but... I need one now so I can't wait for something to come in the mail so I actually just saw that this person has a stop so I'm picking up the person we're stopping somewhere and then we're going somewhere else for the final drop off um, I did have my destination set so I'm hoping that I'm not going super far um, but we'll see y'all we'll see uh, I have done a couple people so far um, I think I did the one I told you about, I was dropping him off to out. Well, we were stopping at Walmart and then stopping at his job. Well, dropping him off at his job. 
then I went to Walmart to get a mount for my phone and they only had one so I'm like oh crap I guess that's just gonna have to do because I need the mount to see because for some reason the uber voice just stopped working completely it's still not working um so after I got that I picked up another lady dropped her off at her office then I just picked up another couple, dropped them off at Zaxby's, and now I'm heading to pick up somebody else. So I'm glad that it picked up a little bit. Um, that makes me feel a lot better. And it's about 2.30 right now. I think I've done like eight, nine trips now. So this will be trip number 10 for me for today. Um, so that's good. So after I dropped off the girl to Winter Garden, I took an order for Windermere not realizing that I was, I guess, far out to where the destination that I had set for Claremont, it still gave me enough time to go to the airport. So my Windermere ride was to the airport. I was super upset. I took the toll home because I'm like, look, I just want to get back so I can try and get some more Uber passengers and try and hit this goal. The whole time back, no rides, no nothing. So I turned on DoorDash because DoorDash had a, a availability from 5 to 6. I turned on Instacart because I'm like, look, I need to hit my goal. I'm not trying to be out all night. Um, I got out like an hour and a half earlier than I usually do and I'm still struggling because I, I think it's really because I went to Leesburg this morning. So that put me a little bit behind. Um, so now I'm heading to drop off a DoorDash for a bunch of miles. It's not a great one at all. 5.6 miles for 9.25. It's for five items, so it could go up. I don't know. Um, I'll have to see once I drop it off. But y'all, I'm pretty much struggling. I'm at $83 on um, Uber Eats and that's with a $3 tip that popped up from yesterday so I don't think I've gotten one tip for any of the rides that I've done today why are they doing that with their truck they're rubbing it and it's like whole, all moving completely that's weird um, and then when I was on the way home from well on the way back to Claremont from the airport ride oh my gosh people are um, I really don't understand why he was doing that. Um, somebody blew their tire. So that was scary. I've never seen that actually happen before. Like I've seen accidents happen, but I've never seen like somebody's tire blow. So that was crazy and super loud. It was like, boom. And then you see the little tire pieces like flying everywhere. And they went to get off on the exit to get into Claremont, so I thought they were trying to pull off to the side and just change the tire, but nope. They kept going, so I don't know what they were doing. They did get off into Claremont, but I don't know where they were trying to go on their flat tire. Um, but anyways, y'all, enough talking. I'm heading to drop off this DoorDash. I have two and a half more miles to go. All right, I'm heading to Publix on Scissors Tower to pick up somebody. They already messaged me and said what they're wearing. Oh, yeah, speaking of, let me message her and say, okay, got it. Because I forgot. Because I was driving. I need to take off my destination thing. Oh, I already did. Okay, so I already took off my destination. So I'm about to pick her up right now, y'all. So that's good. I'm trying to stay busy. All right, so I dropped them off actually at the same place where I picked up the people yesterday that were going to the DMV. Um, they had went grocery shopping and then I stopped the request. That way I wouldn't get any more that would go into like winter, winter garden or anything like that. Um, I paused DoorDash now because I did take an Uber Eats order, my first Uber Eats order in a while. Um, it's for Taco Bell. It was like three miles for $7. So I'm actually at the light now, which was like perfect timing that they sent me that. So I'm going to run inside, grab the Taco Bell and get it delivered. I am so annoyed. I was setting my destination. Actually, I think I did set it. So I, I did. So I should be good. 
Um, I just dropped off the Taco Bell and I had to wait probably about five minutes for it. I deliver to this guy all the time um, in this neighborhood. I think I've delivered groceries. I delivered food to him a couple times. I don't even know if it's always him. It might be other people too, but I know for sure I've delivered to him because he comes to the door. Um, I feel bad because the bag, the sticker came up, so it looks like the bag was opened, but I really, I did not open the bag. You know, I put it right in my Grubhub bag, so probably when I put it in there, the sticker popped up. Um, but I'm heading to pick up my next person, my next passenger, 4.7 miles away into Claremont. Said pickup premium possible. I doubt there's going to be anything. Let me remove my destination now while I'm talking about it and let's go pick up this person. So that was going to be my last Uber passenger because that went like 14, 15 miles to Howie in the Hills. Um, I don't think that I'm going to go back to Claremont. I think I might just call it a day. I am super exhausted. Um, so I'm going to see. All right. As I was saying before, so he went all the way to Howie in the Hills, like 14 to 16 miles it was. Um, I'm exhausted, so I think I'm going to just, um, I actually need to go to Publix to get meat for the dog, um, and some Gatorade, so I'm just going to head home, I'm, I'm so tired, y'all, um, I thought it was like the midday blues, but it's really not, it's like still lasting, and I think it's just because it's that time of the month, so it's just draining me, um, I didn't realize the quest said from Monday at 4 a.m. to Friday at 4 a.m. So I'm a little disappointed because I would have definitely aimed to get out at like 7.30 in the morning if I knew that. Um, but it's okay. I'm still going to try for the 50 trips. I only need 10 more. So I can do 10 tomorrow. I've been averaging like 12, I think, a day. So that's good. I think I did 14 trips today, but 13 would be the passengers because I did do one Uber Eats order. Um, and that's it, y'all. I'm going to head home in a little bit and record some outros. And I'll see you tomorrow out there. All right, you guys, Wednesday, I got out here a little bit earlier, y'all, and it just did not work out in my favor. Um, I think it was because the first trip that I actually took took me into Leesburg, and then I didn't get anything. So that was like an hour of dead time, um, just dropping him off and stuff for like $13. So definitely need to be paying attention with that. It was a good conversation, though. He kept conversation flowing pretty much the whole trip, which was nice. Um, I learned a lot about other Uber drivers in the area because <laughs> he takes Ubers, you know, like once or twice a week to go to work. Um, but other than that, I did one Uber each trip, one DoorDash trip, and then all the rest of them were the Uber passenger trips. So for Uber today, I did a total of 109.31, 14 trips in total for 26 points, and then... Actually, I got $8.29 tip, and that's $5 of that is the Uber Eats customer, and then $3 of that I think is a tip that popped up from yesterday. So technically, it was yesterday's tip, but it came through today. Um, and then DoorDash, I did the one order, and it went up from $8.75 or something like that to $10.75, which is always nice. Um, since it was like five miles, so it made it pretty much two dollars a mile, which is what I aim for um, I the last uber passenger I took took me all the way to Howie in the hills So y'all I'm just out of it. I don't feel good. It's I'm drained. I, I just couldn't do it no more um, I'm hoping to be able to get a good night's sleep and get out there early again tomorrow um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to try to do better with my setting my destination um, because it's just like, oh man, three trips today I went over like 20 miles.
or like right at 20 miles. It's it's too much. Um, so I'm gonna try to get better. I'm I'm getting better. I think every day. It's just it's still a little bit of a struggle, y'all. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Tomorrow is Thursday, y'all. Almost to the weekend. <laughs> um, I probably, I mean, I'm not going to work Sunday. That's my usual day off. But anyways, I will see you guys out there and in my next video. Have a great night. A young boy being a dreamer. And in the dream... No!